So now we need to write two kind of test and we are going to assert that these cases are handled properly. One is if the user is giving invalid token or invalid OTP actually or second if the user is not giving any OTP. Yes, we can restrict that part on the front end we will require things but what if uh, by some means user has submitted the blank OTP then what will be the result we need to make sure that error message will generate it so let's go to the test directory features test and verify test here we have lots of tests so let's write another test here and this test is like uh, invalid OTP returns with error message so I will say invalid OTP returns error message I think this is good so how we can assert this so yes we have these things so let's copy this from here and paste it here like this so we need to assert that invalid uh, OTP is given so I'm not going to use this OTP because that one will be the correct OTP so this is we will say invalid OTP simple one and now what we are going to do here let's try to uh, see what will be the result so if I run it we are not having any assertion so it says warning but now i just need to assert that session has errors so because if we go to my otp controller uh, otp controller why is that verify otp controller yeah <laughs> verify otp controller so you can see if we don't have the correct otp we are returning back with error so this is just going to assert that yes we have error so error in the session obviously so if I run it this passes but to confirm that the uh, that the uh, this test is actually correct what I'm going to do I'm going to re redirect back but without any error message if I try to run the previous test it says okay you don't have any error message in the session so this is we have tackled this is nice but now next is we will say no OTP returns message that means if there is no OTP so let's write a test so if no OTP is is given then it uh, return with error it's like OTP is required required we have used actually on the OTP request which we have given here we are writing test for this so here on the verify OTP test again we are going to do the same thing but this time this is not an invalid token there is no token actually so null is going to be there so if I run it it says some problem it says the given data is invalid now we are validating so now this goes to this OTP request and this is returning the error that the given data is invalid and that's the case that's why OTP request is created but how we can assert that this time it's having some problem because now we need to make sure that we are not handling the exception that was the exception that uh, data is given is invalid but in reality we know the if the data is invalid it just redirected back with the error so we need to say yes I want the exception handling so yes now with exception handling if I run it yes we have and to verify if I will say uh, OTP is not required so I will just return that run the test and it says error because OTP is not required here so let's say it is required and running the test and this is good and you also do one thing you can specify what actually in the session you have so I want the key to be of the OTP 
so run the test once more and it passes once again so this is the test we have created for the verification of the otp is there or if the otp is there that has to be correct one second the otp is not given the otp is null like here so this is the test very important things and in the next episode we will do the recent part but why not start with the sms part we have completed long journey and it's time to start with sms so from the next episode starting the sms so if you have liked these episodes just hit the like button and share these videos with your friends if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye